as a medical physicist, it's important to understand the dose algorithms that you use every day, verify that they are clinically fit, and know how they work. So let's discuss specifically the Acuros dose algorithm. So what are the four steps of the Acuros algorithm? What type of source model does it use? And what specifically is discretized in Acuros? So the four steps are the first thing that you must do is convert the CT numbers to a corresponding structure. So as the very first step that must be done for this algorithm to work properly. Second step is to transport the fluence. I'm writing this down as quickly as I can from the source to the patient. Then we want to calc the scattered photon fluence, scattered photon in the patient. And then we want to calc the scattered, and as you guessed it, when there's photons, there's going to be electrons deposited. So calc scattered electron fluence. I said four steps, but I'm going to add a fifth here. Just do the dose calc. So remember that Acuros is four or three or four, I would say, times faster than AAA because steps two to five are done once per global calc. So that makes it much faster, especially in those instances like SBRT lungs or where there's a lot of heterogeneity. Acuros is much faster and proven to be more accurate than AAA as well. So what type of source model does it use? So this does use the same source model that AAA does use, that in being that it models primary photons photons. And then we've got our secondary photons. And we've got our electron contamination. Then finally, what is discretized in Acuros? So this not only helps speed it up, but, you know, like I said, it's more fact, it's faster, and it's more accurate. And to discretize one space, it also discretizes energy. So what we're talking about is essentially you're discretizing or another word is you're grouping things together. That's what we mean when we say discretized. If you group for assigning cross sections, that energy, that is what's going to help you speed up this process rather than having them ungrouped, it's going to take an incredibly long time. And at some point, you're essentially just doing Monte Carlo at that point. But of course, we want a faster yet similarly accurate algorithm. And that's what we're doing here. So discretize space, energy. You can also discretize the angle and the transport cutoff. So that is very basic info about Acuros. Of course, you need to know this about pencil beam convolution, collapse cone, AAA, Monte Carlo. And what I really suggest you do is know what algorithms you use in your clinic. Know them like the back of your hand. Know how they work, what source models they use, how accurate they are in comparison to the other algorithms, because you can always say, oh, in my clinic, we don't use Acuros. But if you use AAA and you don't know how it works, that's very alarming for an examiner or really anyone who is auditing your department. And so ensure you know how the algorithms work. Do a, you know, a look at what you use, and then just do some research on them and be able to prepare to orally discuss those with your examiner. So if you have any questions, comment below. I'm happy to help. And thank you for watching.